This isn't the first time that I'm talking about the loop deck. I made a full video going into details on every possibility that this little thing has. I recommend you watch that video, but the quick recap is this is a macro keyboard on steroids. You have a bunch of uh, tactile keys, but on top of that, you also have your regular switch keys. Every single knob here is also a button. And of course you can turn them as uh, normal knobs, which you can completely configure. And then the software also comes with so many software integration pre-packed pretty much. So it's ready to go as soon as you get it. Everyone wants to compare them to, you know, similar products, but the problem is this is not similar to anything else on the market right now. And even though a loop deck makes bigger products, uh, this is the loop deck live. This one is loosely aimed at live streamers. Now here's the interesting thing in my video about the loop deck, I said that the software was great, which it is, but the problem is that it was a little too complex. It was very intuitive, but there was too much at once. So it felt a little intimidating to start customizing it and making it your own. You would only, well, personally, I only went with the pre-made profiles and they had them for Adobe Premiere, uh, Lightroom, Photoshop, After Effects, Streamlabs OBS, and OBS Studio. But ever since it came out, they have been making updates to the software to make it more user-friendly. Personally, I stopped using it for a little bit because I had to switch desks. So I'm discovering this at the same time as you are, and we will be able to see if it's really as intuitive as they say. For full transparency, this video is sponsored by Loop Deck, but my opinions are mine. So let's plug this in and download the updates. I even still have the original cable. So it's very simple. You just need to go to loopdeck.com and then uh, click on get started. That is, of course, if you already have a Loop Deck, we're going to download for Windows and you can see they're really promoting the 5.0 version of the software. As you can see, software size is uh, 167 megabytes. All right, so it's done downloading. I'm going to click on it and we're going to install it. Now, if you already had the software, you probably have been prompted to update it straight from the software. You can also do that. OK, so installation is done. I got a prompt as soon as I opened up uh, OBS back. Hi, what are you going to do with it? Let's pick streaming since you guys are mostly live streamers, but you can see all the things that you can do with Loop Deck. Uh, and I really feel like it's super powerful if you're doing photography, especially like Lightroom, if you're like a wedding photography photographer. <laughs> a simplified profile with streaming essentials has been added to your setup. So they just added that setup already for me. So cool. Next, boom, boom, boom. 12 customized touch buttons. Knowing that those columns on the sides are also touch sensitive. At least last time I checked. So you can assign, swap, remove, drag and drop. This is already like, this has nothing to do with what I'm used to. Like with the first one that I had, um, this is already great. It's already feels more intuitive and more user friendly. Eight buttons at the bottom that you can use to switch pages. I believe you can use them to do whatever you want, but they mostly made it so that you can switch in between pages or you can swipe left, right on the touch screen to navigate pages. Oh, I didn't know that. Use uh, six dials uh, with press function to control audio channels and more Two touch bars display currently assign actions to dial. So those are the, the touch bars that I'm talking about. And then those are the knobs basically. And they also have a button each. That gives you so many options. When you press finish, a loop deck configuration software will open automatically. You can always always launch configuration software by clicking the loop deck icon. Basic stuff. All right. Would you like to help us improve the software? Actually, yes. This is like probably the first time that I'm clicking yes on any software because I do need them to be better, you know? All right. So it detected my specific one and it's the oh, wow. Look at that. They Those icons look way better than before. Look at that. That looks great. That looks clean. I'm actually going to pose for the thumbnail of this video so they just want to update the firmware i'm gonna click update there you go so disconnected reconnected we're gonna wait for windows to get its stuff together and then we will be done and there we go device ready click done okay oh my god this looks nothing like the one when they when it first came out this is way cleaner i love that so loop deck live is the device that i have right now uh if i had the ct i can uh pick it here simplified windows default there's a system profile so this is where i have you know folders windows uh, press start normal stuff that you would get like on a complex uh, a super keyboard right and then there's dynamic mode for application profiles i believe this is what basically if i turn on a software it will automatically switch to the profile for that software i kind of feel bad because i'm such a bad example for you know the typical live streamer i do not use spotify and i know a lot of you guys use spotify to play your music during your streams i just 
know that it's compatible. Okay, you can control Spotify with the loop deck while you're live. Okay, so right now we're on the Windows profile. Let me just press on buttons or just click on them here, see what happens. And it switches actually when I click on here and it tells me information about my CPU and stuff like that. I have a button to launch Twitch. I have a button to launch Twitch dashboard already. There's the virtual camera for OBS, I believe, if I want to launch uh, Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So this is like default alert for a live streamer, right? So you don't need it to be only your OBS. You already have a Windows profile that is that is basically pre-made for a streamer. Of course, at some point you're going to launch Twitch. At some point you're probably going to launch OBS, which is right there or Streamlabs OBS right there. OK, there's Steam, Battle.net. You have Discord, Origin. This is this is great. I'm going to get rid of Firefox because I don't use Firefox, but it's cool that they thought about it. Also, WhatsApp. And then here you already have pre-installed the viewer count if you want to turn it on or off. You can create a clip, chat subscriber only if you have to, run commercial, chat slow mode, clear chat, chat subscribers only, chat follows only. Please remember, this is pre-made, meaning that I didn't have to touch anything for this to already come pre-installed, meaning that I can add my own buttons, meaning that I can change all of that. I can create my own profile if I have to. This comes with uh, a soundboard already installed too. Wow, this is... <laughs> okay, you know what, Loop Deck, you did, you did good. <laughs> you did a good job. That's dope. All right, then the sixth profile is completely MC, so you can add whatever but the seventh profile has some stuff and this is um some basically loop deck help if you're ever stuck you want to see some tutorials this is all there on profile 7 pre-installed in the windows default keep in mind that there's more than just you know windows default there's a profile just for streamlabs obs just for obs2 let's take a look at this one see what's in there all right uh you can also change the icons by the way you can create your own icons i have a couple of videos where i created my own icons where you can download them and use them as templates for your for your use basically what happens if i click on the knobs right there now it gives me option to actually assign certain things for example here let's say top right i would like to control my spotify right i can click here to add an action for turning it and at the bottom is the action for pressing it so this is where you have to go and drag and drop certain elements for example if i want to control spotify and i want to control uh, the spotify uh, spotify's volume i can click here and then go uh, spotify volume main volume since it's under Spotify, I don't know if that's your Windows volume, but a Spotify volume is going to be Spotify itself. So I can drag and drop this here and boom, right now this controls my Spotify volume. And if I press it, maybe I can toggle mute. This makes sense, right? If I want to mute it, I'm pressing it right now. Now there's also custom commands that you can create. You can create a new group like system volume, uh, explore uh, specific applications and stuff like that, of course, of course. And then within Twitch, you do need to log in with Loop Deck and then link your Twitch, with, which I haven't done yet but you get an idea of all the options that you have uh, including sending a message in chat so if you want to activate some commands you can set that up too so basic uh, moderation commands you know follow only emotes only subscribe only clear chat reset settings uh, your typical panic button <laughs> basically set up and then create clip create marker which is something that I'm definitely going to be using run commercial viewer account and then for Streamlabs OBS you have scenes audio there, there's more by the way you can add more definitely but those are the basics for now another thing that seems to be new is plugins you can actually manage some plugins so far for example you want to control your philips hue boom that is possible you man manage uh obs studio like directly with a web socket boom that's also integrated uh philips hue what, what do you have toggle lamp toggle room select scene toggle zone control center and and those empty folders by the way if you just click on the plus here you will have an option to add specific settings that you can then control with the loop deck if this is too much of course you can just click search and let's say that i'm looking for volume uh, of course i'm in philips hue so if i go here reset volume mixer that would be an obs if i click on spotify i have main volume uh, this volume and it also tells you where you have volume you see how those are selected that is so cool so if i want to make a clip i can just type clip and it will tell me everything that's available okay there's clipboard here on windows but on twitch i also have create clip right there so you can find everything super super fast now if you ever want to switch back to the classic ui you can still do this by clicking top right here it will restart loop deck and bring you the very old well not the oldest but it will bring you to the old ui that they used to have uh, this ui is completely fine but i feel like it's less intuitive than the rest basically i, I don't know it's less user friendly but it is it does give you pretty much every option over
over there. And this is what I meant when I said overwhelming. If you're looking for to do something specific, you have to open up those folders and it can feel uh, too much. So I don't, <laughs> I'm not mad at you if you want to switch to the new UI, which we're going to do right here. It just restarts uh, the software. There you go. I love this. This is more like, you know, this is not intimidating. <laughs> now using this, actually, this might actually convince me to get Spotify premium because there's so many things I would use this just to control, <laughs> just to control my Spotify. It's not linked right now, so I don't have all the options, but you can add stuff to your playlist. If Spotify is recommending you some songs and you like that, you press one button, boom, now it's in your playlist. Change repeat state, uh, next track, play and navigate tracks, previous track, res reset play and navigate tracks, shuffle play, toggle playback, of course, all the volumes. You can switch devices with the loop deck uh, from your Spotify. For example, I have an Amazon Echo. Um, I would be able to switch it from this to my PC to probably my phone. Well, let me switch profiles. Let's go back to Windows default. OK, what else do we have? Spotify default. OK, that's what I was looking for. So uh, first page, we have this. And then of course, you can add everything from here to customize it even more. All right, I want to go back to Windows default and uh, pretty much wrap it up because this is I can't wait to play around with this. I'm glad that they really, really put in work when it comes to the software. It was way too intimidating at first. I didn't want to tell them that, I'm not going to lie. But uh, now with all the options that you have, look at that, you can even bind like your mouse clicks with alt control shift and all of that there's i can't go through it all i can't go through it all oh if you didn't see the first video one thing that you can also do is display information about your computer on the screen of the loop deck for example i don't want uh whatsapp right what if i just wanted to show the time and it will tell me the time on the loop deck. I don't need to go find the time here on the windows or whatever. So it's it's cool that it can not only serve as just normal icons, but also, you know, uh, the moon phase. If if <laughs> if that's something that you want, the weak number. Anyways, I want to keep it short, short enough. Thank you so much to. Oh, did I disconnect it? No, I didn't. Uh, I did. <laughs> It reconnects super fast. Thank you so much to Loop Deck for sponsoring this video. This is what it actually looks like when it's on your table and you're pressing the buttons, you know. Super responsive, no issues whatsoever. Where is that? It's screenshot. I also forgot to tell you that it vibrates when you press the button, but go watch the first video. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> go watch the other video that I made about it if you want to know, like the unboxing and all the technical aspects. I just wanted I just wanted to talk about the um, software right now, the software update and how it feels right now. And I got to say, I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased. They promised that it would be more intuitive and more user friendly. And I feel like they did. So the Loop Deck Live is definitely coming back into my uh, regular setup. If you want to get yourself one, first of all, watch the other video. But there will be a link in the description. If you have any questions, anything that you would like me to test, with it please leave them in the comment section below and uh i will see you guys next time thank you so so much for watching this video go out there make me proud get level out